Have you ever wondered how simple physical activities like walking or jogging can influence the state of your mind? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? And the answer lies in the powerful connection between exercise and mental health. You see, when we engage in physical activity, it's not just our muscles that get a workout, our brains do too. Exercise can have a profound impact on our mood, energy levels, sleep patterns, and overall well-being. It's like a natural mood enhancer, releasing chemicals in our brain that make us feel happier and more relaxed. In a world that's moving at breakneck speed, where stress and anxiety have become all too common, maintaining mental health is paramount. And exercise, in its many forms, can be a potent tool in this endeavor. The key to understanding this lies in the intricate workings of our brain and body, a fascinating interplay of chemicals and circuits. To delve deeper into this arena, we spoke to some of the leading experts in mental health and fitness. In our quest to understand the relationship between exercise and depression, we've gathered insights from some of the brightest minds in the field. From neuroscientists to fitness trainers, each has a unique perspective on the transformative power of physical activity. Dr. Jane Foster, a renowned neuroscientist, explains, Exercise has a profound impact on our brains. It stimulates the release of endorphins, often referred to as feel-good hormones. These naturally occurring chemicals can boost mood and provide a sense of well-being, acting as a natural antidote to depressive symptoms. Echoing this, fitness trainer Mark Freeman adds, when you exercise, you're not just building muscle, you're building resilience. The discipline, the dedication, it all contributes to a stronger mental framework. It's a powerful ally in the fight against depression. Their insights are not just theoretical, they're backed by real life experiences. Take the story of Sarah, a young woman who found solace in yoga during her darkest hours. Yoga became my lifeline, she shares. It was more than just the physical postures. It was the breath work, the mindfulness. It helped me reconnect with my body in a positive way and slowly, I began to feel less consumed by my depression. Or consider James, an avid runner who turned to high-intensity workouts to manage his depressive symptoms. Running was my escape, he admits. It was tough at first, but with each step, each drop of sweat, I felt lighter, freer. It didn't cure my depression, but it gave me a sense of control, a sense of achievement. These stories, and countless others, highlight the power of exercise as a therapeutic tool. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution, but its role in managing depression is undeniable. Whether it's yoga, running, or any other form of physical activity, exercise has the ability to uplift, to heal, and to empower. As our experts have highlighted, the benefits of exercise extend far beyond just physical fitness, making it a powerful tool in our arsenal against depression. So how exactly does exercise help alleviate depression, and what forms of exercise are most effective? Well, the answers lie within our brains. When we exercise, our bodies produce a surge of endorphins, those feel-good chemicals that act as natural painkillers and mood elevators. They stimulate a positive and energizing outlook on life, helping us combat the feelings of sadness, anxiety, and disinterest that often accompany depression. Physical activity also promotes the growth of new brain cells and connections, a process known as neurogenesis. This strengthens our brain's resilience and capacity to manage stress, reducing our vulnerability to depression. But the power of exercise goes beyond the physiological. It also instills a sense of accomplishment, boosting our self-esteem and confidence. It provides us with a distraction from negative thoughts and offers a healthy coping strategy. Now, what about the types of exercise that can help? They range from the meditative calm of yoga, which enhances mindfulness and reduces stress, to the exhilarating rush of high-intensity workouts that flood our system with endorphins. Even simple daily activities like walking or gardening can make a significant difference. The key is to find something you enjoy, that fits into your routine, and that you can stick with. So whether it's a brisk walk in the park, a rigorous session at the gym, or a calming yoga practice at home, every form of physical activity has the potential to uplift your mood and bolster your mental health. Whether it's a brisk walk in the park or a high energy Zumba class, every step you take towards physical activity is a step towards improved mental health. In conclusion, exercise isn't just about building muscles or losing weight. 
It's about crafting a resilient mind, capable of withstanding the stormy seas of depression. We've journeyed through the science, heard from experts, and seen the transformative power of physical activity on mood and cognition. From yoga's calming influence to the adrenaline rush of high-intensity workouts, each form of exercise offers unique benefits, providing a potent tool in our mental wellness toolkit. Remember, the journey to mental wellness isn't a sprint, but a marathon. So lace up your shoes, step out, and embrace the transformative power of exercise.